Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Pila M and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning back in. I am so excited for today's video. Um, you know, I got a revelation whilst I was in the secret place of God and it wasn't a, an easy pill to swallow when God and I were talking about this, but yeah. It led me, you know, to creating this video because I just feel like it's something that most of us struggle with, right? So yeah, as you as you have seen by the title of this video, I am asking you a question. Are you standing in the way of your progression? I don't know how you define progression, but in this video we're talking about progression in life in general in life in your dreams in your career in your aspirations are you standing in the way of your progression and you know i feel like we need to base this video on scripture first so our scripture for today is genesis 1 verse 28 which basically tells us this is when god has created man and he is giving us the mandate that I've given you authority and dominion. And he is calling us to subdue the earth and to have authority and dominion over the earth and everything in the earth. So it led me to asking myself if I have authority over my mind. When I set my mind, when I make a decision to say I'm going to do something, do I do it? Do I exercise authority over? Do I hold myself accountable to my word? If I say I'm going to start a YouTube channel and post weekly, do I do it? So, yeah. Backstory. Okay, let's just start with the story. Um, I'm doing a research project and sometimes I struggle and face a bit of friction whilst I'm doing it, you know. And most of the time when I'm facing challenges whilst doing the research project, I go to shower and maybe then I come back and continue and try to figure out where I'm, what's going on, you know, trying to figure out the direction that I want to take in the, in the research project, right? Or when I'm studying and maybe I have an assignment that's due, I have an assignment that's due and I'm struggling with it and it's due the following day or at 12 midnight. I will go to shower and then come back, I mean, to freshen up my mind, I go to shower and then I come back and try again, right? As I'm working on this assignment and I face a bit of challenges, I'll take a nap and then maybe wake up at 4am to continue with the assignment. But I know that I have to submit it at 9am, right? Okay. Why is it that when we face a little bit of friction whilst doing what our heart desires, we quit? Why is it that when you make a decision to go to the gym every day and while, when you start feeling a bit of pain and, and you start feeling uncomfortable, you quit? No, I'm feeling cramps. I, I don't want to do this anymore. Gym is hard. Why do we do that? It's a question that I ask myself. I make a commitment to start a YouTube channel, to be consistent. When I start seeing a slight drop in the views or I see people unsubscribing because it happens, I feel demotivated and I start thinking maybe God isn't calling me to this. Maybe God isn't calling me. But when do we exercise the authority that God has given us? Because if you have a desire in your heart to do something or to start a business or to do something, why are you then? I'm not saying God's voice is not important. Please don't take me out of context in this. But God places maybe a desire in your heart or it's just a desire that you have. You want to start a business or you want to learn how to do makeup and start doing people's makeup. Why do you then? Why do we have Christians that are sitting on their beds waiting for a big voice from God? why because god has given us authority why so the authority has limits we have authority to speak to demons to speak to spirits but we don't have authority to take control to take charge of our lives to get our lives in order we don't have that kind of authority we only have authority to cast demons out 
as Christians, we are sitting on our beds, we are sitting in our houses, in our offices, we are sitting, waiting for the voice of the Lord to tell us to study as a, as a student. I'm waiting for the voice of the Lord to tell me to do simple things that God has given me intelligence. God has given me intelligence. He has given me wisdom to know that I have to do these things. But I'm sitting and I'm waiting for God to leave his throne of grace and come to tell me to continue. And once, and when I face a little bit of opposition, really God didn't call me to this. Which kingdom are we building? Which kingdom are we going to build? Which spaces are we going to acquire and have dominion over? If when we, when we, if we tremble, tremble at the sight of friction, at the sight of not danger, but at the sight of being uncomfortable. I mean, guys, you know, Jesus goes on to emphasize authority that we have in Luke 10 verse 19. I think I will link the verse here where he has sent out the 72 disciples and they come back and they're so excited that oh, even the demons listen to us when we cast them out. And Jesus tells them that, no, I have given you authority to trample over snakes and scorpions. I have given you the authority. You have it, but you don't have the authority to make up your mind and do something. You don't have the authority to make up your mind and do what you have to do. You don't have the authority to, to hold yourself accountable to your word. You said you're going to do this, but you don't have the account that you don't have the authority to hold yourself accountable to what you said you were going to do. God has given you a gift. You can sing, you can dance, you can draw, you can do whatever, whatever talent that God has given you. You are sitting on that talent because you are waiting for the voice of the Lord to come and tell you to use the talent that God has gave you. You know, to me, we are no different from the one servant that was given one talent and he went and hid the talent. And, and the master came back and said, so what have you done with your talents? No, I hid it because I'm so afraid of you and I know that you reap when you didn't sow, so I hid it. Like, you know, God, you know, guys, this word sat with me, sat with me because I've had so many conversations with people and I was agreeing with them that, no, you know, I'm just waiting for the Lord to speak to me and to clarify. When do you exercise the authority that God has given you, the authority over your mind, your ability to make you to make a decision and to stick to it? When do you exercise the authority for that? when like <laughs> you know guys it's so easy to to make up your mind and say you're going to do something and you started and everything is smooth sailing and it's going the way that you anticipated to go but then when things start things start taking a turn for the worse we're so quick to say hi god didn't call me to this but i don't know we have to have a grace of faith we have to have aggressive faith. It's not like the devil is going to give us our things and say, oh, because Pilar decided that she wants to start a YouTube channel and she wants you to take over this space or whatever I want to do, whatever I desire to do. Maybe I want to take over the corporate world. And he's like, oh, that's so cute. I'm going to give it to you on the silver platter. You think the devil is going to give you what you want on the silver platter? And I know that it's important to wait for the voice of the Lord. It's important to take God's opinion, not God's opinion, but to listen to what God says to you, right? It's important. But I also believe that God causes all things to work together for good for all those that are, for all those that are call, called according to his purpose. And if God is able to change, to cause a sinful life, to cause the sinful life that I lived, to work together for, for my good, what more can he do with something that you do with a good intention? What more can he do with that? I mean, he caused my sinful life to turn around and work in my favor and to turn around and to show his glory. What more can he do with something that I've started with good intentions? 
I mean, yes, I didn't wait for the law, didn't wait for the law to tell me to do whatever I'm doing. To, I didn't wait for, for the voice of the law to tell me to start a YouTube channel, but it's with good intentions. So if he can cause a sinful life to work for my good, what more can he do with something that I've started with good intentions? You know, and because we pray to a God that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask, think or imagine. If I start this small thing, he can do exceedingly abundantly above all that I can ask, think or imagine because I started, because I thought about it. But it doesn't, it doesn't end at imagining things. You then have to implement you know, scripture says that your gift will make room for you and we will place you among great men. But what's the point of being among great men if you know nothing about what is being discussed at that table? You are sitting in a board meeting or wherever God has placed you and they are discussing stock exchange, stock markets, and you know nothing. Why? Because God didn't come from heaven to teach you. Yes, you have the gift and it will definitely make room for you and it will place you amongst great men. But what, what are you bringing to the table? Yes, you are bringing your gift. But is it the best? What are you doing? Because scripture also, it, like, it's, it's not me guys, it's scripture. Scripture also says that stir up the gift of God, this gift that God has placed inside of you. I think it's First Timothy chapter 1. I will insert the verse. It's, it says, it specifically says that stir up the gift that God has placed inside of you. But no, we are not stirring up the gifts. We are sitting on our beds and we are waiting for the Lord to say, okay, Pila, it's time to record. Okay, and then I sit, I record, I record saved by grace. You know, it's a beautiful concept. People are attached, it changes lives. It's a beautiful concept. And then I sit because God is not speaking to me not quote unquote not speaking to me but he also gave me the ability to be creative to have authority to have dominion to subdue the earth but no i'm not doing that all in all bazalane in this <laughs> yo i am in my bazalane era but yes all in all bazalane we really 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 need to as christians and as people in general we need general we need to learn how to take accountability for our actions we can't say god should we can't ask god to bless us with finance with money you know to bless us with abundance and we don't know how to handle it because we are expecting god to come down from his throne of grace to teach us how to budget so yeah guys i really really hope that this video uh more than anything causes you I, I really really hope that this video makes you self introspect you know to check if you are stirring up the gift that god has placed in the inside of you to check if you're actually exercising the dominion not even let's start let's start within us exercise the authority over yourself to wake up in the morning and do what you you had said you were going to do exercise the authority over yourself we can't rush to go and perform miracles everywhere all around the world but when it comes to ourselves it's just crickets so yeah uh, i am <laughs> i am pleading, pleading with you guys if you are gifted and you know that you're gifted and you know that you are talented do like perfect perfect the gift that god has given you perfect the talent that god has given you if you're really really good with it perfect that gift if you're really, really good with art, perfect that gift. Even if you're not like world-class level or good, you are now famous and you know, all those things. But be really, really good in what you do. So yeah, yeah, this is the end of my video. Um, thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel. I really, really hope that you're blessed by this video. And I really, really hope that this video causes you to self-introspect. And this video, more than anything, you know, stirs up something in you to actually do whatever you 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 to do what god has placed inside of you to do what you've been feeling the urge to do that maybe i just want to start this i want to start a support group or i want to start whatever just do it 
I mean, you'll fa if you fail, you fail, but at least you learn a lesson. I mean, it's it's. I really, I want to end this video, but yeah, it's it's better to start something and fail and know that you started it rather than to sit in and imagine what would ha what would, what that thing would have been if you had started it. So yeah. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys so much. My name is Pila M if you are new here, but I think I introduced myself in the beginning. But yeah, my name is not Pila Malinga. Please, please, please subscribe. Please like, please share. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Girl, you call me by my name.